cupping therapy in Ayurveda. Cupping or Shringa is mentioned in classics as a yantra for Riptamokshana which is basically referred to as the horn of animals. The cupping instrument is sucking equipment that works on the principle of negative pressure. The broad end of Shringa is applied on the surface of the skin and the other narrow end is used for sucking blood during the procedure of bloodletting. Negative pressure inside the Shringa is generated by sucking, mouth suction or by the help of syringe, from the narrower end which tends to move blood into Shringa. This act of bloodletting through Shringa is called Shrugamvacharana. Shringa Yantra is indicated for Vatadoshchaniya Vakara majorly situated in Tvokdhatu. Shringa Yantra is having Ushna warm, Nidra, sweet, Snigta Iliguna which is opposite to Vata Dosh, Vardhatacharya mentioned there. The use of Shringa is not widely accepted as it is considered unethical in Hindu civilized society as well as according to Peter. Secondly, it is a biodegradable product so it can is used for a longer duration. To withstand this problem, it is replaced with modifying Shringa Yantras, Chinese cups, which are cost-effective, easily available, and can be sterilized easily. The application of cups is preferred as a substitute for Shringa, the disposable ones are preferable a high-level sterilization or disinfection process is required prior to reuse. Nowadays, cupping therapy has increasingly been performed with plastic cups. The size of the cups varies according to the place of application, but it is often applied in places with abundant muscles, such as the back. Cupping therapy is used for thousands of years in traditional Chinese medicine to treat many chronic conditions, such as low back pain, chronic arthralgia, radiculopathy, and respiratory disease. This therapy involves the application of an S hollow vessel for suction, generally a cup, to an affected area on the skin, this area is called an acid point. The basic suction method of cupping therapy is called retained cupping generally used in common Chinese clinics. In this method, practitioners utilize the flaming heating power to create a suction, minus pressure, inside the cups at the desired area of the body. Cupping can broadly divide into two subtypes. Dry applying cups on nasu points for some time. Wet cupping, with controlled bleeding dash, in which practitioners make some small incisions slash pricks prior to the application of suction cups. The aim of cupping is to precipitate the circulation of blood and to remove blood stasis and waste from the body. It extracts blood that is believed to be harmful from the body turn rids the body of potential harm from symptoms leading to a reduction in well-being. Therefore, when blood flow finds it difficult to reach these areas, the patient starts to face these painful problems. Wet cupping may act as a nociceptive stimulus, which would trigger diffuse noxious inhibitory control, or by the removal of oxidants, which would decrease oxidative stress. Benefits of cupping include benefits to blood disorders, pain relief, inflammatory conditions, mental and physical relaxation, varicose veins, and deep tissue massage. It is used to treat muscle pain and spasms, drain excess fluids and toxins, and loosen adhesions, connective tissue, and stubborn knots in soft tissue. It helps stimulate blood circulation and bring blood flow to nourish stagnant muscles and skin, enhance the flow of energy, and stimulate the penis. 
it activates the lymphatic system, clears colon blockages, helps activate and clear the arteries, veins, and capillaries, and improves varicose vein. Bowel conditions, IBS, constipation, and diarrhea, headaches, back pain, arthritis, period pain, injuries, fatigue, mood, anemia, depression, sciatica, skin problems, weight loss, and more. If you like the video please subscribe to the channel and do visit our website site to explore more.